Hello YouTube, this is Drangzilla here, and today I have a figure that I got for Christmas, and that is the Eofauna Scientific Research Step Mammoth. This figure was ordered off everythingdinosaur.com, and I give a special thanks to the website for sending me this lovely figure, and my parents who ordered it for me for Christmas, so thank you very much if you're watching. So let's get on to the review. Now, we all know the famous Woolly Mammoth, but what was the Step Mammoth? Well, the Step Mammoth is believed to have originated in Eastern Asia. It evolved from the Ancestral Mammoth and it lived during the Pleistocene Epoch from 1.6 million years ago and kicked the bucket about 30,000 years ago. Now, as far as I know, only one complete skull has been found, but with some research on other specimens, Eofauna scientific research have made this stunning replica and I believe that this is their first figure. I'm not sure if it is, but something tells me that this is their first model. And for first impressions, my god this is truly a fantastic model and for a more they are yet to come. I don't know what their next beast will be, but from what I have heard they have a dinosaur planned. But if they can make their prehistoric mammals scientifically accurate, then my god, imagine what their dinosaurs would look like. Right, so onto the figure itself. Now, when I first saw images of this figure, I was impressed, but because I have other mammoth figures, I wasn't going to bother with it. However, over time, he began to grow on me, and after hearing all the praise that the figure was receiving, I decided to go for it. And I'm glad that I did. All my other mammoths are woolly, so it's nice to have the step mammoth in the collection. First, I'm going to talk about the paint job. He is a mixture of light and dark brown. The toes are a lightish brown, and the soles of the feet are also the same color as the toes. The tusks have a weathered look to them, and the mouth is glossy and looks wet, added to the realism. So for detail, the step mammoth wasn't as woolly as the woolly mammoth that we all know and love. So in Steptoe's case, it's more fur, and well, this guy would have stayed in warmer territory, so he would have been as hairy as the woolly mammoth. The mouth is wide open, but it's not articulated, so it's permanently open. So don't bother trying to open or close it. However, it just adds to the epicness. My favourite part of the mammoth are the tusks. Long and curved, they would have been used for digging up roots and fighting off rivals of predators. They're not sharp on the figure, but that's for child safety. Although, why would you want to give this to a child? It's too awesome! Just kidding, kids. When looking at the head, you could tell that they based it on the skull, but with the flesh added. The ears are small because most mammoths and other prehistoric elephants had small ears and he wouldn't be a mammoth without the dome shaped head. The trunk is like a snapshot of an elephant's trunk but with fur added. The tip of the trunk is tilted but that's something that would happen to a mammoth or elephant's trunk in real life so it isn't an issue. Going back to the mouth we could see the tongue and the white markings at the back are meant to be the teeth. They're not sculpted like say the teeth of dinosaurs or saber tooth cats or some of the other prehistoric creatures, but they're only seen when viewed from under, so it doesn't matter. The mammoth was a bulky giant, but the way that Eofauna have made him is a mixture of bulky and slender. Okay, the body is kind of bulky, but the legs are slim. It's just the way that the figure has been made. And when viewing the figure at this angle, the step mammoth looks massive. You could really feel the presence of this beast, and you could tell it, it really truly is a giant. Now for the pause. Eofauna have betrayed the step mammoth in a calling position. So, he could either be making his presence known to other step mammoths and is getting ready to challenge another male for the mating season, or he has spotted a predator and is alerting everyone, or if you want, 
you could say that this is a female and it's the matriarch informing everyone that it's time to move on. I don't really know what gender this figure is. It could be either male or female, but um, personally I like to think it's, it's a male. Not being sexist, but that's what I think. One leg is raised up, two are on the ground, and the back leg is half raised up. I didn't take a picture, but if you own this figure, you know what I mean. And if I hold him like this, and we crop the image, he bears a not identical, but almost striking resemblance to the doomed mammoth statue at La Brea Tar Pits. However, that is the Columbia Mammoth, not the Step Mammoth, which is the subject of this video. He comes with a card that features the strength, intelligence and other abilities, and I absolutely love the illustration or painting on the card. I know that it's an illustration, but it's almost like a photograph of the real animal. And I think that every single prehistoric creature figure should come with a card like this. So, Collector, Safari, Papo, Shrike, if any of you are watching this, you should do what Eofauna are doing. Release your figures for cards. And at the back we have the Eofauna Scientific Research logo. And now let's go on to sizing. So first up, here is the Step Mammoth with three of my other Woolly Mammoth figures. The Schleich, Papo and Safari Limited Kaneki Woolly Mammoth. And he looks great with his hairy cousins. The Woolly Mammoth is famous and popular, but like Tyrannosaurus Rex and Dimetrodon, he has done the rounds and so it's time to see other mammoths be made into figures. So all we need are the Colombian, Southern, Pygmy and Imperial Mammoth. Although I've got a feeling that the Colombian and Imperial might actually be the same mammoth. I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that they might be. Oh, and also the Ancestral Mammoth I think would be a great addition to our collections. Here is the Step Mammoth with two other prehistoric elephants, the Collector Dinotherium and Safari Limited Ambilidon that we have reviewed on the channel, so the link will be in the description. If the Safari Limited American Mastodon was here, I would have placed him with the others. However, I did order him off everythingdinosaur.com last night, along with two others. So he's on the way at the time this video has been made. However, the Step Mammoth looks incredible with the Dinotherium and Ambilidon. And I think he'll look awesome with the American Mastodon and the upcoming Gobbotherium from Collector. Here he is with two Smilodon figures, both from Papo. And I think having this guy fight off a pack of Smilodon would make an epic diorama. Here he is with two other Ice Age beasts, the Cave Bear and Woolly Rhino, both from Papo. And he also looks good with two other prehistoric mammals, the Collector Deodon and Eurotherium that we have reviewed on this channel. Again, the link will be in the description. So what are my final thoughts on the Eofauna Scientific Research Step Mammoth? Fantastic. Absolutely incredible. This is, without a doubt, one of the best figures from 2017. There are many companies that make dinosaur and prehistoric animal figures. Four of them, Collector, Safari Limited, Papo and Schleich are the most popular. However, there may be a fifth company to join them and that will be Eofauna Scientific Research if they keep on making more fantastic figures like this. There was another Step Mammoth figure, but that was made by Papo. However, that one is hard to come by, and thus I think this one is better. If you already have some Mammoth figures, and you're worried that this will just be another Mammoth, well, don't worry, because this feels like a completely brand new figure, and nothing that's been seen in your collection. I give Eofauna Scientific Research Step Mammoth a 10 out of 10. This figure is a must have for all mammoth and prehistoric elephant fans and he is also worth having if you're a dinosaur fan too. If you wish to collect this figure, Elephant Dinosaur will be the best place to look and the link will be in the description below. This is Dragonzilla signing out and I wish you all a happy new year.